Hello and welcome to the 2023 Heart Women's Volleyball Media Day. I'm your host, Courtney Jackson, and today we're excited to be joined by Central Methodist University Coach Coleman Lee and Annabelle Mawson. Coach Annabelle, thanks for joining us for Media Day. Uh, let's start with you, Coach. Um, introduce us to Annabelle. Tell us what she means to your team, both on and off the court. Um, Annabelle's been a big part of our success for quite a while now. She actually started her career um, being named freshman of the year in the conference. She shared that honor. She's been all conference since, since being here as a six rotation outside. Um, this year, we've actually transitioned her to the middle. Um, it's been a very smooth transition. She's one of our best blockers in practice, and we've seen it come out in scrimmages as well. So I'm just excited to see what she can do in a different role this season. And Annabelle, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? And fill us in on how you live up to the expectation after you're named freshman of the year. Um, well, I'm from Jefferson City, Missouri. And after being named freshman of the year, uh, it kind of set the standard up high. So I knew that every year I had to keep on beating that standard and giving myself new goals every year. So that way, you know, I just had something to look forward to and achieve each season. All right. And coach, your team was able to travel to Florida recently for some scrimmages. Uh, how, how much fun was that for the team? And how important is it from a coach's perspective to get into a new environment and play some new competition? To be honest, it was fun. Um, but mainly for us, we wanted it to be special. We have a lot of fifth years um, graduating this year, as well as some fourth years who are going to go ahead and finish up for us. So this is probably one of the biggest and most impactful senior classes that we've ever had. Um, it was nice. Florida Southwestern, obviously, we have a good relationship with that head coach. Garrett worked with her before um, at Seward. So playing them coming off of a national championship run was huge. They send a lot of kids D1 and D2, so it was a good challenge for us. And then we also got to see Ave Maria down there, who has been in the opening round of the national tournament in the past and another NAIA squad that we would probably never see otherwise. So it was a good opportunity, really good experience. The girls got a lot of bonding time in, and then we were able to get a lot of good touches as well. Yeah, Annabelle, tell me about how you enjoyed that experience with your teammates. Um, like Coleman said, it was a great bonding activity for us to kind of connect because it's really important that we all feel comfortable with each other, that we all have a good bond before stepping on the court and kind of getting to go down there and play teams that we've never seen before just kind of gave us like a new perspective on everything. And it challenged us in good ways. So that way, whenever we get into our actual season, we're able to kind of, you know, step up to challenges and rise to the occasions every time. Well, let's talk about the conference for a little bit. Coach, um, there's a high level of coaches in the Hart Conference. Uh, how much do you enjoy the challenge of coaching against such top caliber coaches week after week? It's fun. Um, I mean, I was named head coach of the year in 2019. Um, and coming right off of that, uh, Park joined the conference, which obviously makes a huge difference. I've known Mike for a really long time and have had a really big respect for his program. But we've got some up and comers as well. Molly has really turned things around at MNU. Um, we have some youth in William Penn and Grandview. And those are coaches that are just hungry to do well. I think it only makes us better in the long run. We want to play those types and calibers of teams before the national tournament. And I feel like all of us in the heart are lucky to be able to have those challenges on a nightly basis. And it's not just the top. It's not just the CMUs, the MNUs, the parks. I mean, the middle and even lower end of our conference, you have to show up to play every single night. And I think that's that's important for our girls to know that we just can't take any days off. And Annabelle, from a player's perspective, um, how do you approach going into tough games week after week and maintaining the mindset of having to compete and not being able to let let loose a little bit? You know, every game, you just kind of have to have that fight and that drive. There's like no letting up no matter what's happening in the game, no matter who we're playing, no matter what the occasion is. You got to go in just like hungry and ready to win because if you let any of that down, you know, that's kind of where teams start to fall is whenever their drive lowers. So we have to make sure that we keep our competitive high and um, 
that we're driven to win every single game that we play. And coach, last season, uh, your team again qualified for the NAI national tournaments. What are some takeaways from last season that you hope your team can take into this season? Well, I'm not going to lie. Last year was disappointing for all of us. I feel like um, we've kind of set a standard here at Central Methodist, and it's not the opening round for us anymore. Our side is always Sioux City. So I feel like we're lucky this year. We have girls who experienced the sting of that loss last year and not ending up at Sioux City. So I really haven't had to have the same speeches that we ended with last year of like, hey, you know, we've got to hit our peak. We've we've got to continue raising the level because all of these girls who experienced that opening round loss already feel that. And they're kind of setting the expectations and, and pushing the drive from their standpoint to where I'm not really having to be that that vocal push all of the time now. So opening round again was nice. There are a lot of, and I've expressed to the girls, there are a lot of teams who would have loved to be there, but that's just not our goal moving forward. And I think these girls feel the same way. We're hungry to be back at Sioux City. But honestly, the goal this year is winning a pool at Nationals. That's something that we haven't been able to do for a while. We've got a great senior class and some really huge additions that came in with us this year. So I, f- I feel like that that's the expectation for CMU Volleyball. Yep, especially with the experience. It's a good year to do it. So when mid-September comes around and it's time for conference play, what are you hoping that your squad's going to go out and look like? We're going to hold ourselves accountable um, every game that we play. I feel like last year we kind of skated through some games. We dropped sets that we knew we probably shouldn't have. And then, like I said, that sense of urgency didn't quite kick in like it should have. And then it ended up with us losing a tough five-setter after being up you know, two sets to none in the opening round. So I think this year you're going to see a different level of play. Um, I don't think we're going to drop those sets that we shouldn't. And I feel like the games that we should win are we're going to play at at a similar level of a game that we might have to pull out in five sets. So I think that there's just been a change in mentality about the level of play, what we're capable of, and then what our expectations are for ourselves every time we step on the floor, like Annabelle said. And I think it's going to be much different than what we showed last year. All right. And let's finish this off, Annabelle, with um, talk about the other part of being a student athlete. And that's the part where you get incorporated with the community. Um, What does your team do outside of volleyball to incorporate yourselves with people around Central Methodist University? Uh, We volunteer at local food drives. You know, we kind of um, help around with that, packing up food for everyone. A big thing that we've done is we've made like goodie bags for students um, in Fayette or even surrounding uh, towns like high schools or middle schools and elementary schools, um, just to kind of show them that they are special and, you know, that they matter in the community. And there have been times that, you know, some athletes have gone to read to kids and uh, just doing the little stuff like that makes them feel important. And that makes us feel kind of good about everything that we've been doing. Yeah, really neat opportunity um, for a lot of the student athletes in the heart of America. Really good job getting out in the community. Well, Coach Annabelle, thank you guys so much for joining us today and best of luck this year to the team. Thanks for having us.